Hi everybody, it's Josh with Talk About Trek. And tonight I want to do something a little bit different. If you'd been following any of my videos, you would have known that this past, uh, actually it was yesterday, yesterday, uh, I had plans to go and visit the Star Trek store in Sandusky, Ohio, the Federation headquarters. Uh, when we arrived there, lo and behold, they were closed. They closed at five. My hopes were dashed. I was unable to purchase the Star Trek toys, to browse the wonderful Star Trek goods, to see the many books and magazines that day. Another day, however, will be my day. Uh, but the day was not a total loss. Well, I mean, that kind of stunk. But I did end up with something I found fairly interesting. Let's move him for a moment. That comes later. But let's have a look at this, guys. Ah, look. I did not have the animated series. So we were at one of these uh, video stores that sells used things, and I saw this very cool animated series kind of clamshell and even had the original, you know, cardboard. Still looking nice. All 22 episodes of the animated series here and features audio and text commentaries, uh, making of, and uh, yeah, uh, just again, a very nice case, which I thought was pretty cool. And, and the price was right, it was fairly cheap, and I like how everything on the case here is like raised up here. And then we can open it up. And inside it comes in just a small jewel case here where you have the different DVDs. Now, unfortunately, I think that there is some damage to this first one somewhere because when I was trying to play it, it kept skipping. Uh, when I played the second one, I did not have that problem. So. Maybe it just needs cleaned up. I don't know. We'll see. But it was nice to put that in and watch that. I've got a old VCR uh, DVD combo up here that I can use to watch all these, you know, old DVDs and old uh, VHSs. Actually, that's what I spent a good amount of it today doing was I watched the motion picture and I watched Generations as I was working on, you know, doing some things out here, cleaning things up in the office and all that good stuff so so unfortunately that was my only Star Trek find that day in Sandusky so but I was you know, I was a little disappointed coming home and I said to myself well oh, I was also you know looking around up there and I said if I can find a uh, Funko Pop of Rutherford from Lower Decks. That would be great. So I looked around. They did have several Pops at different locations, but nothing from Lower Decks. However, Amazon came through, and they delivered my Rutherford just today. So I'm very happy to have... This is my first Lower Decks toy, really. Um, and I had to... I don't know. I, out of the four of them, I just wanted to go with him. I think I like this one the best. But I'm just very happy to have that. And then while I was there on Amazon browsing, I came across this, which is a... And I've never done any of these kind of games before, but this is a cryptic a puzzles and pathway adventure. So let's look at the back. So... Maybe if you've done a cryptic before, you would have an idea of what you're looking at here. But basically it says that you can puzzle through three exciting missions, draw your path to maneuver the ship, use your tricorder and other advanced tech. I can see there on the box there's some isolinear chips, a little tricorder. Um, so I don't, I'm interested to get into it. It's something that I can do if I want to do a mission myself, if I want to try to sit down and do one with my wife, we can do that. So uh, tomorrow, I'm hoping we can sit down and maybe do the first one. And then I can come back on and talk about it and uh, let you guys know what I thought about it. So 
we will look inside here just briefly. Uh, it's kind of a. Um, it, it tells you to stop. It doesn't want you to be poking around in the box because everything's supposed to be done in a certain way. You know, because this is not a normal game. But just to kind of give you an idea of what you have inside, you see you got your tricorder, your isolinear chips, uh, a notebook here that's going to kind of give you the stories, and then these different mission packets here for the different ships and missions that you get to serve and do. So uh, definitely looking forward to that. Um, just getting this. There's so many Star Trek games that I need to try uh, that I have up there. Uh, but this one I think will be a... I don't know, kind of a fun, easy starter, especially it's something I can do by myself, uh, you know, when I have the free time. So, yeah, that's going to be good. Oh, also, I need to build this thing. I got this thing for my birthday last year, and now my birthday is fast approaching in a few days, and I still have not built it. So I've determined I will build that, and we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that tomorrow, too, once that is all built and looking good. So, yeah, man, I wish I had more to show you. I wanted so badly to be able to uh, get a couple more toys for the wall up here, but it was not to be. So uh, another another day, another weekend, we'll get back up there, and hopefully I can show you guys some more about the, the Federation headquarters as well. So get Rutherford back over there for the end. Uh, yep, that's it for now. I just wanted to show off a few things that we found, talk about some things coming up here. Uh, eager to get back into the queue continuum, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Get these videos uploaded on the internet, and uh, talk to you guys next time. So, as always, everybody, live long and prosper, and we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, that was the wrong one. Bye!